this is a food plot, an existing food plot that we're actually going to redo this fall. Um, maybe even this spring. I'm still trying to decide what I want to put in this plot, but it's been a clover plot that has just gotten ravaged over the last couple years. And uh, there, there was some logging done on this farm this past fall. And so as you can see here, it's just kind of all tore up, you know. And so I'm going to redo all that. And then I'm going to redo this spot here. Now what I got behind me is a hay field, an old hay field there. And what I want to do in this spot is, in, and I want to explain to you why that blind is sitting there. Um, and this is one of the important things. You know, a lot of people when they set their blinds up or their, you know, elevated, you know, redneck hunting blinds and stuff on food plots, they always put them in the corners in the woods or on the edges. And that's not a bad thing to do. It all depends on what you're wind situations are like or what your deer are kind of doing but with this farm the way the structure is on this farm because i got a ravine here and i got a ravine over here and then i got this flat ridge that runs out into this timber well what the deer tend to do is they like to come up this hill you know out of the bedding areas and up this ravine right over here behind me and then they'll come up over here too and then back off that flat ridge that goes out into those oak trees but what I like about this situation, why I put the tr the blind where I did, if I was in the corner of the woods or against the woods, then that's only limiting me to like two wind directions. And I don't like that. So what, what I'm doing here is having my blind out here in the open like this. And this redneck ghillie blind, these deer don't pay no attention to it. It's fine. It's like where it's sitting, the deer walk right by it. And what I'm actually doing is I'm pinching the deer between the blind and the corner of the woods. And it makes it a really easy shot right here. And I'm the deer are actually walking through, checking this plot out as it is. And so they're out here feeding. They come up out of this bedding area. They stage right here and they walk right by the blind. Sure, a deer can get behind me back here into this big open field. But the way the structure of the woods is down in there, it kind of keeps the deer in this back corner. And so I kind of look for spots like this when I'm doing food plots or where I'm going to put them and where I'm going to set my blinds up. So now having this blind the way I have it, I can hunt this on a north, a northeast, and a northwest. And so that gives me three wind directions here that are going to keep me avoiding the deer situation. And what I've found is like on a food source like this, in this situation, those north winds, I get a lot of deer movement. So that's the wind I'm trying to take advantage of in this situation. So that's why the blind is where it's at. And that's why my plot is going where it is into this corner, according to the bedding and everything else. So a lot of times when I go to lay a plot in, it all depends to me like how I feel that I can get the most advantage of the deer movement and how I can get the most deer to come to that spot in front of me, especially when there's a really big deer on the farm and I want to try to pick that deer off either early season or in the pre-rut checking out the does as they come into these food plots. It's just a good tip for you. And again, you know, like with this ghillie blind, you can move this redneck ghillie blind anywhere. And like if I need to move it over there or over here, I can. They just think it's a hay bale or an old treetop. They don't even pay no attention to it. So it's a really good tactic for me that's really worked well. And I just kind of wanted to share that with you. I know everybody's pretty good with food plots anymore and so forth. But this was just one thing that I thought really might help you guys because you you know I see so many people putting their blinds on the edges of the woods and stuff and that's, that's not all bad I'm not saying that's wrong I'm just saying in this scenario it works real good for me to have the blind out in the open like this